everybody. Thanks for tuning back in. Um, I wanted to give an update to everybody because I know you guys have all been worried about me the last couple of days. Um, I'm fine. I just had a couple of days of well, really bad days, which I knew were going to come. Uh, start out with, let's see. I thought I was going to be okay with um, Nanaja after chemo. I was four days removed from it. I was feeling fine. So, <clears throat> like a dummy, I stopped taking the pills because I was okay. And that was a mistake. Um, so, I started getting nauseous night before last. But, um, figured I'd sleep it off and be okay. Um, went in for radiation on Tuesday night. Got home and crashed out. My throat was just on fire. I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't talk. It was bad. And I was getting yelled at because I, I wasn't drinking anything either. I just went to bed. <clears throat> so I'm sorry that I'm coughing. That's part of the uh, part of the side effects here. So, but anyways, we uh, I woke up in the morning uh, yesterday morning, and I couldn't do it. I just I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't move. My beautiful, lovely, amazing, talented wife got up. She took care of everything um, in the morning. Got the kids off to of school. And allowed me to to rest. I did call into work. Um, I had to work a little bit because there's a big project that I'm on that we've got to get finalized. So I worked as much as I could. But my boss has been completely amazing and understanding. My team has rallied against, uh, not against me, uh, with me. Don't rally against me, guys. <laughs> um, to make sure that I've got everything that I need and that we're still successful. So I really appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. <clears throat> but, um, anyways, was able to muster up a little bit of strength to get out of bed and make it into radiation yesterday. Had my buddy, Matthew, come over. Matthew, you're a rock star. Thank you so much for getting me over to treatment. Got to treatment, got back, and was actually able to eat something last night. Um, I say eat in the loose term because it was... I had a uh, chocolate peanut butter banana smoothie and a chocolate boost. That's all I could get down. But it's something. It was more than I'd had for the last two days. Um, so this morning, I could at least talk. Um, <clears throat> barely, but I can. Uh, I've been firing down the calories. I've got large McDonald's drink. I've had two cheeseburgers from McDonald's. I've had a large fry. I've had a breakfast burrito. I'm just trying to fire down as many calories as I can while I can. While I can. Don't get me wrong. Things hurt. Things hurt really, really bad right now. But uh, I need to stay hydrated and I need to get the calories up. Uh, I am weighed myself last night. I'm down to 318 pounds from 330 pounds in just three days. So that's not a good thing. Um, so I've got to keep my got to keep my weight up. Got to keep plug it along. I wanted to take a few minutes here to let you guys know that I really couldn't do it without all of you. I'm going to be putting together something real special for you guys that I'm working on in my mind. And I just want to let you guys know that everything that you guys have done has not gone unnoticed. It has not gone unappreciated. From setting up a rideshare site for me to bringing me supper to making sure that I'm getting to my chemo treatments to chewing my butt, not chemo treatments, radiation treatments. I keep getting those mixed up. But also to chewing my butt um, for not drinking, for not eating, for... Um, yelling at me to get rest, for yelling at me for taking 
on too much. Uh, those of you who know me personally know that I'm a provider. I love serving people. I love helping those who mean the most to me. Sorry. And the fact that I haven't been able to be there in that capacity for you guys in my normal way <clears throat> is really emotional for me. And it makes me feel so good to know that you guys are there for me. So, thank you. I told myself I wasn't going to do this, but I needed to get that out there. And uh, tell you guys that it would, uh, it, I wouldn't be able to do this without you at all. It means so much to me to know how much you guys care. And if you guys ever need me, you know I'll be there. This whole thing's been so tough. And I know I'm at the beginning of it. I'll be the first one to say that I got off lucky. I know I have been. I've talked to so many people who have it's such it's so much worse off than I am. And I don't want to downplay what they're going through at all. I don't. Because they have they are a hell of a lot tougher than I am. They are um they are blessed with the Lord's good grace that I pray for them every every day. Um and I could not fight their fight. I couldn't do it. They are so amazingly tough and so awesome that um, I pray for them every, every day. Me, I think that's the reason why I have it, the degree that I have it. So I can be a, a spokesperson. So I can reach out and I can speak for those who can't. And... Where this journey ends up ultimately leading me, I don't know. That's all in God's plan. That's all in God's will. I, it, to his will be done. I I don't even want to claim to even try to think about what that's going to be. I just know that through him, all things are possible. And with your support and your help, I'm going to be just fine. I'm going to make it. So that's all I have for you guys today. I love you. Please keep reaching out, giving me those kind words of encouragement, those ass chewings when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And just call and check up on me every once in a while. I really appreciate that. I love you guys. Have a good day.